So today I have an interesting activity for you to complete with me. I want you to take two photos of yourself several years apart and I want you to look at what have you learned in that time interval. This is a photo that I call me and me that I'm going to use to begin. It's my younger self and myself last week and I'm going to have a dialogue and I invite you to do the same with your photos. So this is a photo of my high school graduation. I was 17 or 18 years old and as I glance at it I wonder what was I thinking. I try to remember. I knew I was going to college in a month and I remember at that time I was so frightened because I was in a high school class of only 70 or so students and I was going to a large state institution and in fact in a month when my mom checked me into the dormitory and left me that evening I only sat on the bed for a couple of hours and I left I was too frightened to be there by myself and that evening I checked out of the dorm and moved in with my brother and his wife who happened to live in the same community so this is a photo of me as I said last week approaching nearly 50 years apart and I look at this photo and I think I did go to that university I did eventually move back into the dormitory I did earn multiple degrees including a graduate degree of a PhD I was married I had a child I had a wonderful career I felt like I went through a full life cycle I buried my younger sister I buried both parents and then a as those of you who are following my postings know, four years ago I ended up having multiple cancers in multiple locations throughout my body. I'm still here and healthy and so it's important to me as I think about gratitude and living in a state of gratitude, what have I learned? What would this person tell the younger self? There are many um, resources if you Google life lessons uh, there are many uh, sites that say 27 lessons learned, 10 lessons learned, 150 lessons learned. As I read through those and glanced at them, I wanted to personalize it for me. Those are general, they're nice, uh, they're certainly um, thought-provoking. But in this activity with you, I want it to be very specific for you to think, what have you learned? What would you say to your younger self? love your family your family is a tremendous resource throughout your life more than I could have ever realized when I was young my mother Marion Elsie Blake again as some of you might know wrote beautiful poetry and I published her poems in a book called a house inside of me I want to read a couple of her poems about family to you um, and what you're seeing now is me as a little girl. I think I was under one years old with my older brother um, in this photo. Here's a poem by my mother called The Family. A bond between that can't be broken, a love and loyalty rarely spoken, just acted out in kindly deeds, a word, a touch, that's all we need. A family bound by stronger glue, than laws or rules could make them do. Bonds so great before we were born, lasting a lifetime and never worn. The greatest legacy is not money or fame, but a bond of love and a family name. Our parents never left us money or gold, in fact, much of nothing, so I'm told, but a way to live and a way to die and a meeting again in the by and by. A way to live is much richer indeed than inherited money and all its greed. For a trickle of gold still flows from above from our family in heaven and all of their love. Marion Elsie Blake. Again, that's a poem entitled My Family. With this theme of love your family, I'd like to read another poem by my mother called You Carry My Jeans. She read this to her grandchildren as they were beginning to leave home and move on with their lives, and it's a poem I've always loved. 
As I grow old, I would be blue, but I am not because of you. I'll live through you, or so it seems, for you, my children, carry my dream genes. All my weakness, all my strength, will be in you in the way you think. I pray that you will choose the best, remember the good, forget the rest. The gift I ask for now and hereafter is a heart full of love, joy, and laughter. May you share it with others as you travel through, and the world will be better because of you. My birthday wish is true and sincere on your special birthday and all through the year. Throughout the years that will follow, we want you to know we will love you and miss you wherever you go. My hopes and my dreams are all counting on you in all you accomplish and the work that you do. And you will fulfill all my hopes and my dreams. So never forget that you carry my genes. Marion Elsie Blake, 1990. Again, that poem is from A House Inside of Me which is available on Amazon. The second lesson that I would say to my younger self would be, enjoy each and every day, because you're not going to get the day again. Life can take a twist and a turn so suddenly. I was always so serious, and I worked so hard, and I was so worried about planning for my future. And the one thing the cancer taught me was to enjoy each day. Each day is truly a gift. And each day has wonderful, magical opportunities if you just sit back and take advantage of what presents itself to you. Lesson three, don't be afraid to experience new adventures. See the world travel, have as many different experiences with different individuals as possible. Do not judge, have mutual respect for everyone, be inclusive, experience as much as time and money will allow. I had many experiences in Asia. I traveled extensively. I had a federal grant where I worked with students that were across a variety of different cultural groups and ethnicities, and I probably learned more from those experiences as any other activity in my life. So broaden yourself, experience, reach out, pursue your heart's dreams as much as possible. When I look at myself, here I am in the first grade, I would tell this little girl to take care of your body as well as the environment. Learn about ancient remedies that our grandmothers told us. Understand about organic foods and farming and food sources. Understand about bacteria, fungus, parasites, viruses, and more. There's so much about our health that I never knew until I became ill. And you can see all that I learned um, on earlier YouTube videos that I began to post as I learned about essential oils and um, various alternative practices to Western medicine, in addition to Western medical practices. But I believe that illness is around the globe. Certainly with this pandemic, we learned about viruses in the last 15 months or so. And so I would encourage my younger self to pay more attention to organic foods, GMOs, what happens with uh, extending um, our products through farming and agriculture. There's so much that I didn't know and wasn't taught until I had to be more careful and understand in order to preserve my health. And I think what I've learned, again, that I've posted on other YouTube videos is helping me to stay healthy and to not have the um, cancers return four years plus and to understand that our illnesses are, in my opinion, inflammations and 
uh, a problem with our immune system. So this lesson is pay attention to your body and pay attention to this planet, your environment, because the more um, researchers study, there's an interface between parasites, bacteria, uh, our genetics, and so forth on this, this planet. And it's fascinating to read, um, and it all is uh, intertwined. Lesson five, try to live each day in a state of gratitude. Appreciate and value the smallest little things. See this little dress that I was wearing in the first grade? My mother made that. She used to sew all my clothes. And I used to really want store-bought clothes. And now I wish I had learned to sew from my mother because she was a wonderful seamstress. So value little things in life. Here I am around age 19 or 20. Again, I would say to me, take time for other people. Listen to people more. Let them talk as much as they need to. Listen and let them know they're important and valued. So these are my five lessons toward being in a state of gratitude based on life experience. I hope this exercise is beneficial to you and you'll try it in your own life. Blessings to you.